House fires. They can happen in the blink of an eye, and they're almost always caused by carelessness or human error. In fact, did you know that cooking equipment remains the number one cause of reported home fires, injuries, and deaths in the United States? My son uh, left at home alone. He woke up at some moment and uh, started cooking. So he decided to cook uh, falafel, which is made inside the hot oil. So he, put, uh, he poured oil into the uh, pan, and then somebody called him, and he left the house. Some car was passing by and saw the flame going out of the house and called the firefighters. If you look at uh, the National Fire Protection Agency and the statistics they provide, um, there's over a million incidents of home fires every year, roughly $11.5 billion in property damage. And if you look at the causes of those fires, um, they're related to children, they're related to candles and um, heating equipment, but number one on the list um, is cooking-related fires. Of the fires caused by cooking equipment, the majority of root causes remain unattended cooktops, leaving the home with the gas or electric range on. These fires are responsible for billions of dollars in losses per year in the U.S. alone. We deal every day with customers that have gone through situations like home fires, and it is one of the most incredibly traumatic things that can happen. It's something we don't all often think about, but if you know somebody, if you've gone through it yourself, it's one of the most financially, emotionally, and physically distressing things that can happen to you. Those homes with small children or aging adults are particularly vulnerable to cooktops being turned on accidentally or left on carelessly. It could be individuals who are aging, uh, people with disability, um, anyone, average people can walk away from the stove, forget that something's on, um, and the next thing you know, they're in a pretty, pretty bad situation. And uh, you know, roughly 3,000 plus individuals are killed every year. Um, there's even more that are injured and there's billions of dollars in property damage.